In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make this in Photoshop. So the first thing you guys want to do is go to File, New, 800 by 800. Press OK. Alright, so now we're going to head over to our browser and we're going to search up Fortnite Background PNG. I'm going to use this one here. Copy Image, Control V onto the keyboard control T to make this stretched out stretch it out a bit and then we're gonna pop it about here all right then we're gonna go to filter blur and then you want to add some Gaussian blur around about 6.3 that that'll do and then we're gonna grab our fire stock so if you just search up thumbnail effect png find this image here you're gonna have to save it so i'm gonna control o to open all right so now i have that open so control a control c control v control t again to stretch that out all right now now that we have that it does not match our photo at all so first things first i'm just gonna get rid of that using the eraser tool all right so we're gonna go to image adjustments uh hue and saturation so yeah that that matches the background quite quite well i like that all right so just press ctrl j to duplicate and then what we're gonna do is rotate it upside down So now that I have this done now that looks already is looking good So now if I just press control over all layers, then I just press control E That'll make it all into one and then we can add some hue and Saturation Yeah, I like that. So plus seven on the hue there. All right guys So now we're gonna go back onto our web browser. Let's go to a website called fnbr.co cosmetics list and then I'm gonna grab the raven skin I'm gonna grab the featured I'm gonna copy I'm just gonna go paste onto here control T again and then hold shift if you hold shift then it will make it even the magic wand tool and just prover over that and press delete go to my quick selection get rid of this bit in there D control D to deselect. So now I'm going to just stretch it out, make it nice and big. So now I'm going to press Control A. Then I'm going to go to uh, then I'm going to go to Layer, Align Layers to Selection, Horizontal Centers. That will put it into the middle. Go to Back to Image Adjustments. I'm going to put some shadows and highlights. I'm just going to turn that down a bit. And that is good. I like it already. Alright, now I'm going to go back onto Google. I'm going to search up uh, thumbnail effect PNG again, and this image will show up here. So I'm just going to grab that, hit copy, and I'm going to paste it. Now we're going to have to change it from normal to linear dodge add. I'm going to make that nice and large, a bit bigger. Slot it right underneath our raven, and then I'm gonna go back onto here again. I'm gonna scroll down, and I'm gonna find this blue effect here. Just wait for it to load. Copy image, Control V, make it a bit smaller, and I'm going to again use linear dodge add image adjustments hue and saturation. I'm going to make it more purple. There we go. I'm just going to slot that under our raven. Make it nice and big again. That is already looking fantastic. Maybe turn the opacity down a little bit. Then we're going to then we are going to grab our white circle. I'm going to scroll down a little bit till I found found this one. Copy image. Paste it. 
and just use the magic wand tool and then control T. Ninth finna fall down, fourth quarter shorty, I'ma ball out. Don't go to work, baby, call out. Ain't no way, no stall now. That is a decent size there, I guess. Now I'm just gonna go back to control A, layer, line layers to the selection, horizontal centers. Make sure we're dragging this under here, and I'm gonna go to blending options on the circle hover over to my drop shadow yep that, that looks pretty reasonable if you ask me so now I'm gonna go over to my raven blending options outer glow and then we're gonna add make it like a I'm gonna grab this color here turn the spread all the way down move the size up a little bit make the range somewhere around here that looks pretty good, and then I'm gonna add a drop shadow as well. Off in the bar out, fourth quarter shorty, no call outs. Don't go to work, baby, you call out uh, in the bedroom, all out. Perks on the counter, I can't wait to take them. So, guys, if you don't already have the Fortnite font, just hop onto Google, just search up Burbank font, and just hit this one on Fonts Market. So now we're going to go on to our text tool and we're just going to type your, as in your name, you can put whatever you want, change the colour to maybe, yeah, that, that'll do, make it a bit bigger, with control T, stretch it out a bit, and if we add a drop shadow, And turn this down a bit there we go that looks all right and then I'm gonna add name down here just go here copy layer style paste layer style I'm gonna make this a maybe like a bit of a purpley color that looks all right enlarge that a bit and I'm gonna pop it on top of your name. Maybe make your a bit bigger as well. And then same thing as last time, control A, layer, align layer selection, horizontal centers. Align layer selection, horizontal centers. And I'm gonna move this across to make it look a bit less stupid. So also, if you wanna make your text look even better, you can go Control T skew, move the skew up a bit, and then for your do the same. Control T skew, and move that up a bit, and that'll just make it look a bit better. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in another video. Dude,